Hey everyone, David Yang here, one of the co-founders of Full Stack Academy. And today I want to talk about why you might want to consider going to a bootcamp. And I want to frame this as, well, if I could make my own bootcamp, what would I need to put together to have a great experience in learning how to code, right? Because the final goal is we want people who can code enough to get the jobs in industry. So I want to talk to you about the five things, the five ingredients I would put together so that if I was gonna make my own bootcamp. We have a model here, we call it the five C's. So the first one is you want some really great coaches. And if you're gonna put this together yourself, what I would do is I would consider, hey, do I have any friends who are in the programming field? Do I know someone who could connect me to someone who's, who's already working as a programmer? And if not, I would consider looking online on forums like Upwork. Uh, Upwork is a great platform that you can find freelancers, and there's a lot of freelancers who are doing software development, but they oftentimes will also do coaching and instruction if you ask them nicely. So go to a platform like Upwork and type in, uh, JavaScript instructor, JavaScript programmer, and find someone who can help connect with you and work with you on programming. And I want to add, you know, have a list of questions I want to work through. I want you to tell me what I need to work on the next week. And then, and if I get stuck on anything, this is a chance for us to discuss. So the first thing, try to find a great coach. The second thing is picking a curriculum. We have so many students who they, they get caught in what I call the tutorial hamster wheel, right? They keep doing tutorials, they keep doing new tutorials, and they feel like they're never making forward progress because every tutorial, they don't know where to start you from. So they're starting you right from the beginning, and you feel like, I know a little bit about a lot of things. So it's really important to find a curriculum that takes you from where you are all the way to where you want to go. Now, there's a lot of great curricula out there. We're in the process of considering open sourcing our own full stack academy curriculum, so watch out for that. But I would consider just going to the Barnes and Noble and trying to find a good textbook on the programming language you want to learn. Now, we really recommend learning JavaScript as your first programming language, and we'll have a video on that as well. But find the language you want to learn. Probably it's going to be something like JavaScript, Ruby on Rails, Python. Uh, those are really the most common beginner languages. Find a great textbook and just use that textbook and don't deviate from the textbook. Now, I know, and I am, I'm afraid of this myself, I love buying a new textbook and being excited about the idea of the textbook rather than working through it. But really, it's working through it that lets you get where you need to go. So find a curriculum, and you know it can be as simple as finding a textbook. There's plenty of curricula online. There are sites like egghead.io that have a lot of JavaScript stuff that, that really let you get started and have a lot of great video and exercise content. The third thing is I would build a community. This is so important, right? There's an African proverb that I love. If you wanna go fast, go by yourself. If you wanna go far, go with a group. And that's one of the things that students here really love about going to a boot camp is that they have a great community of students who are, they can help them, they can work together. When, you, when you're feeling down, you're feeling stuck, you really just have someone who's working with you at the same place, the same time, on the same thing. That's really a great motivator. It drives a lot of energy and it really keeps you moving along. So how would I build my own community? I would go to my local meetup. I would you know, try to find people on online learning how to code forums. And I would say a group, a perfect group is about four people, right? Find four people. I'm a beginner. I want to work on learning JavaScript using this curricula that I found. And what I want to do is every two nights a week, I want to meet up and we'll get into a room, um, either online room or in-person room, and just work on something together. We're going to pair program. We're going to go through the same things. Maybe we're going to have our coach you know, zoom in or dial in or join us somehow and really build that community. Because if you do it by yourself, and I'm sure many of you know this, right? You do it by yourself, you always get into this thing of, uh, do, am I doing the right thing? I'm stuck on this thing, I'm, I'm gonna call it a night. And because many of you are doing this part-time at home, right? So it's very easy to get stuck and give up. So find that community and get excited working in that community. The fourth thing is I would find a way to commit yourself to it. About, I would say 10 years ago, there was a lot of research around how do we commit ourselves to, to certain things, right? How do we build commitment devices into our life? So probably the most well-known example is from the Odyssey, right? Odysseus tying himself to the mast of a ship so that he could do something, but there's no way he could get out of that. So how would I do that? I would consider using a site like beminder.com. It's a site built by some of our friends here at Fullstack. And what Beminder does is they say, I'm committed to spending four hours a night on code, and they'll help you track that. And if you don't do it, you give money to some, either to be minder or to some cause that you hate. For example, if you hate this cause, then you're gonna commit, I'm gonna give $100 to this cause that I hate if I don't do this thing. And of course, then you'd be very incentivized to not give $100 because you, know, you don't wanna see $100 in the hands of your worst enemy. So find a way to commit yourself to the process of learning how to code and make it entire self to the mast, right? Make it so that you can't back off 
make it so that you commit to your either your friends, your family, start a blog and saying, everyone, I'm going to do this. This is my 2019 goal and hold me to it. And the last thing that I think we do a lot here, the fifth C, is curation, right? And so this is something that's hard to do on your own because you don't know you're navigating a dense fog. You don't know what's next, what I need to be focused on. So this is where I think it's really important to have your coach say, hey coach, this is where I want to get to. I need you to tell me where I shouldn't go, right? And tell me how to stay focused. And so we think a lot about that is how do we curate the right path for someone who wants to get to that end goal? Because as you know, it's, it's a lot of stuff out there that will take you in all kinds of different directions, right? I'm sure many of you have seen Here's 10 reasons why this is better than this. Here's 10 reasons why everything you're doing with rest is now dead. Here's 10 reasons why, etc. right? So don't get off the beaten path. There's so many different ways to do the same thing in programming and you have your whole career to worry about those. In the beginning, just curate one single path and stick to it. So just follow up the five C's that we believe in at Fullstack and how I would use those five C's to make my own bootcamp. I would find a great coach, find a great curriculum, find a great community, find a way to commit myself, and finally, make sure I'm curating the right path. All right, so if you want to make your own bootcamp and you want to reach out to us for advice, happy to always shoot us an email. And if you want to come to Full Stack, those are how we think about really the excitement and value of what you get at a coding bootcamp.